Welcome back to Homa Studios Python for Beginners series and we've been focusing on functions and in this video we're going to focus on creating a function with a return value and we're also going to call the function from a print statement using a variable. So we're back working in repellent or repel.it and it's an online IDE and where we finished up on our last video was just a simple function with a function call for create percent input and here was our function call down here and the way it worked I'll just run it we entered possible points and I would put in like 40 and earned points I'll put in 30 and it should come out to like a 75 percent and what happened here is we at the end of the function we printed out a statement with f string formatting that used the variable in here that was created of the score to give us a nice little statement that says your score is 75% and this is the function call. So what we're going to do now is we're going to pull out this print statement instead of having it inside the function we're just going to have the function generate the score and hold it in a variable and we're going to return that variable and use that and we'll put the print statement separate from that and what I'll do first is I'm going to fork this in repel it so I can go up here to the little pencil where it says edit and if I fork it it'll create another version of it and then I'll edit it again and I'll just call it function 2 so I'll just change the name just so it's something a little bit different my V is for video and now we have like a duplicate of what we did before and how we're gonna change this is we're gonna pull this out of here and I'll just cut this out of here and put it here after the function is called and we're gonna do something which is called a return and when we return something if you just return it'll just end the function and it'll return none but we can actually return the variable and use that now let's just try this out if we did this now actually we get an error because we could see score here is getting the red wavy line and it says undefined name score and you might think well why do we even need this couldn't we just do this and it's just gonna print out score because we already created a variable called score and down here here it is why don't we just do that and if you do that you're gonna get an error even if even if you fill this out and it's saying score is not defined now it already told us that now the reason it's not defined is because score is created as a local variable it's local in scope means it's not available outside the function unless we declare it as a global or do something else and so so technically it's not really available that's why it's coming up as not defined because it, it doesn't recognize it here it's looking somewhere outside this function definition for score and we're not seeing it so what we could do here is we're going to do a return statement now that's not going to change score down here but we're going to say return score that means this function the product of this function or whatever the the purpose of this function is basically returning a value of score which will be that 66.7 should be the value that's returned and then printing it out is going to happen down here after the function is called now one other thing we could do because we don't have this variable available of score what we can do here is create a variable and I'm just gonna call it I'll just use initials I'll say CPI equals and I'm creating a variable that represents that function being run because that function being run is returning this score so instead of using score we can actually have a variable represent the function and then we could use that I could put CPI in here and that red line should go away so what's happening now is the function is actually being called within this print statement so that value that the that the function is generating let's just go through this the functions defined and then when we come to here we have a variable that represents the function call and the function call will get run in here because the function will generate the score the 66.7 and that will come out here in the print statement so we're just kind of holding the value of 66.7 here when the function is called and we're outputting it right here so now if we run it I'll put in 30 this time so because I was talking about 66.7 and I'll put in 20 and now it's saying your score is 66.7 it's doing exactly what our first version did except it's pulling the print statement out of our function and putting it here now we could have done this you, you could have instead of even making a variable here you, you could have highlighted this whole function call and put it in here as almost like a variable in there you can see the red line goes away that actually works 
or we think it works, we'll try it out, we'll run it again, and it looks like it's starting to work okay. And it works the same way, except it's a little more confusing because you're throwing a function call inside the curly brackets where you're used to putting a variable. So that's why it's, it's almost better to cut this out of here to have something represent the function call like CPI equals and then just put CPI in here. And that ju it just makes it easier to read and easier to work with. So that's all we're doing here. So we're just returning a value. And so that's kind of the way a return value works. We're gonna work with that a little bit more and we're even gonna work with arguments. But for this video, that's all I just wanted to focus on is just the return and using a variable to call the function and then using that variable inside a print statement.